Hello, it's oh. Hello, it's 2020, December 17th, and I'm here to talk about some masks and how to clean your mask. Now let's start with this. There's a surgical mask that is kind of foldable, and you have a little nose pin that you pin down on your nose. And some people who have like really cheap masks, there's an indention in your nose. These are the best right here in terms of disposable masks. It um, it has like a little um, lever pulley here where you can adjust it, make it tighter if you want to. And um, it's much more comfortable. It doesn't have any indentions to your nose. Now, I want to talk about the copper line mask. Copperlinekorea.com sells these copper masks. These are awesome because um, it uh, one it has it has threads that are interweaven with the uh, the mask material with copper. I guess it's like copper threads. It looks like it kind of looks like this on the insides. Now, as you can see, that this material is really delicate. So, what we're going to talk about today is how to wash it with wool detergent. Um, because as delicate as this is, you can see some of the um, some of this is degraded right here. Because I I work with the same I work with these masks all week long and I'm talking a lot so my jaw dropping yapping mouth is uh, rubbing the facial hair against the fabrics here and that's what that's what happens a little bit on the mustache as well and uh, but the benefit of having these masks are that it declines bad breath okay bad breath odors perhaps you went out to go eat well go out to eat perhaps you ate something and uh, you put on your mask in the past experiences, your mask will smell like the food you've eaten. And uh, with this mask, it mitigates the smell and the odors that, um, that comes in contact with the copper. So this is this amazing mask. It has like a nose, uh, nose pad here. So the purpose of this is not just for comfort. Um, it, it is very comfortable, but it's for people who have glasses and they want some fog resistance. To, you know, you don't want the fog to fog up your glasses. This is uh, what the nose pad is for. You all, it also comes with um, even more protection. So if you want 99% protection, you have something equivalent to what these are. These are KN94s, not N95s. KN95s would be kind of what I call the, um, the turtle shell, turtle shell mask. Uh, yeah, KN94s, these have been around in Korea since forever because of the yellow dust. And that's how they got so prepared for uh, the COVID-19. And uh, when the COVID-19 came, they, you know, because the yellow dust is really microscopic, really, really, really tiny. And so is viruses too, much more smaller than bacteria. So here's the insert, you can put it in there. And uh, so, you, so as you see, you put your mask on by holding onto the ears, right? Just like that. When you take it off, you don't, you don't want to pull it down. You're not pulling it down. If you pull it down and make a nose chin, I mean, sorry, a chin diaper, you're going to stretch out the fabrics. Don't do that. Okay. You want to take it off from the side, from, from the ear. And uh, so <clears throat> let's talk about how to, uh, how to wash these the correct way. There is a correct way to wash it because I have experimented with um, this right here. It's called the Cool Guard Mask. It is protective, yes. Yes, it's really good in terms of protection, but it's single layered. Okay, it's single layered and it's really hard to breathe through. See, I can, I'll basically eat my mask like And as you notice here, it just drags down and the mask is now below the nose line. It should be covering the nose. And you have to like pull it up from here, constantly touching it. And it effect, effect, you know, infecting everything else you touch after that. Now, how did this happen? Okay, once upon a time, it was nice and fit, nice and fit, uh, you know, tight. But um, how did this happen, right? I washed it with hand soap. I washed it with hand soap, strong detergents they call it, dishwashing soap, and I would I would wash it like this. I would agitate it, which we cannot do. 
no agitating and no ringing. You cannot wring the water out and doing this. I'm doing it now because this mass is already ruined, but that's what the example is. This is what I experienced in, you know, uh, experimenting with experimenting with different masks. Yeah, yeah it's washable, but uh, and yes, it does work. It does stay cool in the summer. But this also helps you stay cool too because it is a triple layer uh, protection and has excellent breathability in the summer. It absorbs the sweat, okay? Because it's copper, it kills off the bacteria, off your sweat. The only thing left in here that collects is your oils, okay? Oils, very clean face oils in the mess, but you know, you wanna clean those off. How do we clean it? Well, what you need is you want something like wool detergent. I would say wool detergent, not like wool detergent because the website does mention to use wool detergent for something as delicate as this, as I showed you that it does fall apart easily if you don't take good care of it, okay? Now, uh, they say that you should put in um, about a tablespoon and a half, tablespoon. I've done it a couple times, so here I am eyeballing it. Done. And uh, it's in the lukewarm water, kind of warm, and you soak it in, right? You just put the mask in there. You want a container that is uh, big enough for you to soak the mask. Now, again, we're not agitating it, okay? We're not going to rub it against each other like we're washing our clothes in the river or something that's it's a little bit too much for this thing so what, what i'm doing is i'm squeezing it I'm squeezing uh the ear around the ear part and <clears throat> what you're doing initially is you're letting the mask absorb the detergent the wool detergent squeezing around the nose because a lot of the oil does get around the nose part and even uh, soak it in here even if I soak it in here for an hour and clean it there's still a little bit of residue uh, like uh, oil in, on, on the nose pad you just kind of wash it again just go through it again no problem it's not a harsh detergent and uh, yeah you just let it sit there for 30 minutes to an hour and then um, after you're ready to dry it, you're going to run it through the water, run it through the water like this, like it's just running and you just kind of, you know, kind of gently, you know, squeeze it or push it against each other, kind of shake it. The instructions say to shake it lightly. And then, uh, so I'm running it through the water. Let's pretend that I ran it through the water, okay? And now that all the soap does are uh, taken out, get a towel. Okay, we'll start with uh, this end of the towel. We're laying it there. And you fold it over. Now, when you dry it, one of the big mistakes that I learned the hard way is especially with this mask, is that I dried it over um, the light, like artificial light. Instructions say don't let it sit in the sunlight. You want it to dry in the shade. But I thought that maybe if I use artificial light, like a lamp, that it'll still be okay. It's not as harsh of a light, but that's not true. Any light is harsh for it. So uh, it, it did expand and I was kind of um, disappointed because these masks, you know, they are not cheap, okay? These go for $35. Or forty-five dollars, depending on you know. I don't know, but it's uh, I, I bought it for thirty-five. Okay, these cheaper masks they go for about two dollars, give or take. So there it is. It kind of dries in the towel. Press it down for a little while. You want to keep. You want to maintain it as flat. Okay. Now I'm going to find a new part of the towel that's dry and do it again. press down you know just hold it there letting the towel absorb it for a little while I'm not gonna spend the whole time doing this but you know uh, but the thing is you can let the towel dry in the towel uh, I'm sorry you can let the mask dry in the towel so uh, let's find a new drier spot I guess this is dry here and uh, letting it be flat and let it dry in the towel in the shade there now it's ready to go tomorrow you know 
Uh, you don't want to wear the mask when it's wet because it's still prone to expanding. Yeah, so uh, copper line mask. It's, uh, of, this is of superior quality, superior protection, and fashion. And, you, you know, <laughs> without making a, without having to wear like a, a turtle shell mask, right? I mean, look at this couple. They're happy. Yep, this is the back side. Antibacterial copper mask. Anti-UV, eco-friendly, manufactured mask. Right. Yeah. So like in America, you don't have yellow dust, so you may not need this. But for the virus, I think you might need this. So it's up to you. Um, either way, uh, this will help you protect uh, other people as well as protecting yourself. That's what the purpose of masks, right? If you, you know, it's not about everyone wearing masks, but it's about uh, how to properly wear a mask. When you wear a mask, okay? When you get home, you still want to take your ethanol take your ethanol 70% ethanol or alcohol 100% alcohol 70% or just get alcohol 70% you know and 30% water to spray it let it hang you're good to go yep so stay away from these single layer masks I send some friends and family some uh, regular disposable masks. When you have lipstick on them, I, don't, um, I haven't tested it yet. I'm not sure. I don't have lipstick around here, I don't think. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just, just wash it through the wool, wool detergent again. If, wool, if, if detergent is known to take uh, to clean lipstick, then I think that detergent will do fine. One or two runs throughs. Two, one or two run throughs. So um, yes, stay safe. And uh, make sure that you don't touch your face. It does remind you to not touch your face. You're protecting yourself from other people as well as you protecting other people. So, uh, right. Okay. So, Happy New Year's 2021. See you on the other side.